Like many other makers, the first time I ever heard about the Raspberry Pi, I really wanted to make a DIY laptop with it. But one of the biggest issues that arose was how difficult it was to find a USB trackpad that could fit onto my project, or to find any USB trackpad. So in this project, we're going to be salvaging a trackpad from an old laptop and turning it into a USB device using an Arduino. So pretty much all trackpads I've salvaged are PS2 devices that are hardwired to the laptop. PS2 is an old connection interface that looks like this. This means if your computer has a PS2 port, you can just plug it in and it will work. But for this project, we're going to be using an Arduino to convert it to a USB device. Now I've heard that some newer laptops, mostly Apple ones, use a USB interface for their trackpads instead of PS2. So if you find one of these, you could just plug it into a USB computer and have it work. But the chances are any trackpad you salvage will be a PS2 device, as these are by far the most common. Anyway, we need to start by taking apart our old laptop. This laptop failed quite a few years ago, so I really don't feel that bad about taking it apart. You should find the trackpad underneath the main logic board. It's pretty easy to get out just by removing a few screws. Also, there's a lot of other stuff worth salvaging, like the RAM, processor, or wireless card, so just keep an eye out for those. Once the trackpad's out, take a look at the main PCB for it on the back. You should see a bunch of small solder pads labeled from T1 to T23. We're going to want to find and solder onto pads T10, T11, and T20, and then solder a wire to the ground plane. These pads are data, clock, and 5 volt in, which we'll use to get data from the trackpad. If yours is slightly different, it's worth googling the part number on the trackpad followed by pinout. This normally shows where the daughter clock and 5 volt in pads are. Now, it's definitely worth noting that if you have a PS2 port on your computer, you could just solder these cables to a male PS2 jack and plug it in. But I want to use this with my Raspberry Pi, and that only has USB. So to convert this PS2 into a USB, we're going to need an Arduino. Unfortunately for this project, we can't just use any Arduino. We're going to need either the Arduino Pro Micro or Leonardo as these ones are HID compatible, meaning they can be programmed to show up on the computer as a human interface device. This is something the Arduino Uno can't do without running special software on the computer, like a processing sketch. Now we can start soldering. We start this by soldering the 5 volt pad on the trackpad labeled T20 to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino. Then the ground pad is connected to the ground pin on the Arduino, and then T10, which is the clock pad on the trackpad, gets soldered to pin 10 on the Arduino. And lastly, T11, which is the data pad on the trackpad, gets soldered to pin 9 on the Arduino. If your trackpad has a different arrangement for the pads, just know that the data pad needs to connect to pin 9 on the Arduino, and the clock pad needs to connect to pin 10 on the Arduino. Now, these solder pads are extremely delicate. Even the slightest bit of pressure on the wires could completely pull them off. So it's a really good idea to cover the solder pads and the wires in hot glue to make sure that there's no pressure on them. I'm also going to be gluing my Arduino to the trackpad just to make sure there's no pressure pulling on it when I plug a USB cable in. Now for the software side of things. We're going to need to install two libraries into our Arduino IDE. These are the PS2 and mouse libraries. Links to them can be found in the video description. Download them and drop them into the Arduino libraries file and then boot up Arduino and make sure they're there. Now, the Arduino mouse library will not compile the code unless the board selected is the Arduino Micro or Leonardo. This is because of that HID thing I was talking about earlier. So click on Tools, then Board in the Arduino IDE, and select the Arduino Micro option. The code can be found in the video description along with written up instructions. Copy the code over and upload it to your Arduino. If everything went well, you should be able to get some movement from your trackpad. If the mouse moves too fast or too slow, mess with these values until you get it to your liking. But for the Synaptics trackpads, I found that this is a perfect speed. And that's it! You can unplug the Arduino and plug it into any other computer and it will recognize as a USB mouse. Now, you could use a PS2 to USB adapter instead of the Arduino, but I read that this messes with the data that comes from the trackpad and ends up making it really buggy. Plus, by using Arduino, we can completely customize everything about the trackpad to our liking, like the speed and what double clicking does and what two fingers does. So now from here, you could completely customize everything you want about the code. For example, you could add that double tapping means left click and tapping with two fingers means right click or scrolling with two fingers means scrolling. The Arduino website has a bunch of information about the mouse library, which you can use to customize your code. I'm going to be using this in my upcoming project where I make a Raspberry Pi laptop. So subscribe if you want to check that out. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you. You can find links to all the parts used and detailed written up instructions in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some more Arduino projects, you can check out my Arduino Bluetooth door lock or my Arduino lie detector.